Hi everybody, John LaDrew, Melco International here. We're working on uh, something new and exciting, which we're going to show you right now, the Epson F2100. It's a new direct -to garment printer from Epson. Uh, we're going to show you all the ins and outs of it, uh, the differences between it and the F2000, and why it's so kick butt. So if you uh, come on over here and I'll show you, we'll get started. So the Epson, looking at it at first, a couple things to note, it's a similar footprint, or it's the exact same footprint in fact. It's the same size as the F2000. Good thing about that is, all of the stuff internally, all of the stands, all of the platens that you already have, if you already have an F2000, they're interchangeable. So that's good. Inside, the components, they're exactly the same. So I want to show you internally, we still have the fabric wiper, we still have the docking station, the print head is the same. Come over here, the filters are still the same. Still easy to replace, easy to change filters. So there's a lot of internal similarities. The, the platens, we'll explain what this is in a second, but they're also interchangeable. So you can still purchase tuck lock platens, they still slide into place, just as easy as before. So no big changes there. But, let's talk about the big differences. What makes this thing so exciting? A couple things. One, if you come over to this ink bay here, we now have a cleaning solution cartridge in the fourth ink bay spot on the right side. What that does is it automates a lot of the maintenance that was manually done before. So, before you used to take the little dropper and use some solution and drop it through the printhead or the uh, capping station. And you'd have to activate the pump. Manual process, works really well, keeps the printhead nice and clean and the pump assembly clean. But it's a manual process. Epson has now built it in so you don't have to think about that process anymore. It will automatically do the head cap tube washing every time you power it off and randomly throughout the day. So it does it as needed. It doesn't take long. It uses at the most $8 a month cleaning solution, which is negligible. Comparably, the Brother, for example, uses a wet, uh, a wet capping station. They use on average $80 a month in cleaning solution just to keep their head cap clean. Not something that we have to do, which is great. And the other big advancement, a lot of things people are really excited about talking about, are the speed of this thing. This thing is fast. There's a couple reasons why. One, the processor speed built into the thing is it's as new as possible. It's really modern, it's fast, um, and that allows the printhead to move faster, but it also allows uh, a, a new technology called variable, dro variable droplet. Um, uh, so just kind of looking at some of the features here, printhead's still the same, a lot of those other things, but I want to talk a little bit about this droplet technology. It's called Epson Precision Dot Technology. So really what that does is it allows the, the processor and the driver to, to, vary, to have variable size droplets that come out of the printhead. It's the same printhead as the F2000, but the way the components are built can, internally allows it to um, use different size ink droplets where necessary. And how that works is you use less ink in certain areas uh, that you would not necessarily need. That also gives you more uh, resolution and higher quality results. So it's really advanced technology um, that one saves ink and speeds up the print too. So that's a pretty sweet feature. Can't really show you how it works, but Epson talks about how it works. Another we'll feature. That, uh, before and after image real quick. Yeah. Let's get a kind of a tight shot. Maybe you can see. Yeah. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. Right, but so between the two images, there's obvious difference in resolution. Yeah, and especially like looking at the blades of grass, of course, um, those fine lines, those fine shadows, all those things are going to be able to be a little more precise, stick out a little bit better, give you better results uh, overall, but increase speed, which is nice. Another speed saving feature is uh, the ability to do uh, uh, highlight white in the same pass as you would do color. Previously on the F2000, you would print white and highlight white first in your underbase. Then it would come back over and print color only. Now, we're printing an underbase of white, 
But then as we're printing color, it's also printing whiting. So you get rich, vibrant white prints and it speeds up the, uh, uh, the, the process that way. So we're going to print a few and I'm going to show you that, but let's talk about some of the other features. One and super important thing that people often overlook is uh, Epson Textile Inks are OkiTech and Eco Passport safe. So this is the same ink, same cartridge, but the nice thing here is, and one thing that the same same technology is with the F2000, but one thing I like to highlight is this stuff is non-toxic. It is safe for children. It is safe for nearly any environment, as opposed to a lot of the competitors' inks. Competitors inks don't get the same ratings. They, if you read their MSDS sheets, you, you'll see in a lot of those cases that those uh, those inks are relatively toxic and can certainly be dangerous in certain uh, doses. So we take a lot of pride in that Epson really uh, is in, uh, conscious of how to keep uh, keep you safe and keep your inks eco friendly. Same with pre-treat, by the way. So maintenance, uh, or so pre-treat solution is not changed. The pre-treat application is not changed. Really, what we're talking about on the F2100, a few of the key highlights: one, it's significantly faster; two, it prints highlight white; three, it has precision dot uh, technology; uh, four, it's got a lot of maintenance uh, built into it. Um, and some of the like uh, mechanical or physical feature differences. Let's take a look at this plat, and I want to show you what's cool about it. So this material that's laid on top of this platen works kind of like hook and loop or Velcro. Um, it eliminates the need for a ring, which is nice. We certainly they still provide the ring or the hoop, but the cool thing is we can now thread a shirt without having to use that hoop. So it helps speed up time. And I'll go ahead and do this for you so you see. So we're gonna thread a shirt like we normally would. I like to always dress it. This helps me center the shirt because I can pull it all the way back towards the back of the platen, find where center is, move it straight forward, check the seams underneath on the sleeves, make sure they're in good space. Now it seems crazy, but Epson provides this little puck too, which is kind of interesting. It seems crazy, but this shirt is going to stick well to this platen, and even after we put a, a pretty heavy white underbase, it's not going to, um, to affect registration, which is something we experienced before, is maybe similar to that. So with that, this shirt's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a design that's already been, um, uh, that's in our USB drive, nothing's changed there. USB file list, select. So there's no spooling when you're going from USB file list. A couple things, in Garment Creator, there's a number of uh, speed settings. So because this thing is so new, we haven't really had any time to play with those speed settings. So Epson did some designs, they optimized a few for us, pretty simple. Um, nothing too complicated. You can download the new Garmin Creator uh, on, um, on the Epson support portal. Uh, you can kind of mess around and take a look at a few differences. The Garmin Creator, uh, the new Garmin Creator also works with the F2000. So there's, uh, there's, it's an easy transition. Um, and some of the features in the new Garmin Creator and the new firmware are going to actually speed up your F2000. Maybe not a ton, not nearly as fast as this, but I think you'll notice a little bit difference in speed, especially on the color side. So parts are interchangeable between the two machines to a certain yeah. extent? Yeah, exactly. So all the maintenance parts, everything you've accumulated, if you already have one, we're not really adding new parts or new power numbers, which is great. Um, the only thing we're doing is adding uh, those uh, new platinum elements, which is fun. Same, I mean, they're interchangeable between the two, but that's really the only hardware issue that you can mess with. Otherwise, it's all internal, all in the software, all in the um, the, uh, the computer, the brains of it. So nice bright white, as you can tell. And now watch how fast this color lays down. It's going to blow your mind. It's pretty exciting. So again, it's laying down color. And if there's any white in the design, it's going to also print it uh, as a highlight, too. You can especially see that in the letters here on that job. Look how fast that yeah, color is going down. Yeah, noticeably faster. This design's looking pretty sharp. We haven't even printed this one yet, so it's 
it's nice to see what this looks like. Is there a, a speed comparison between the 2000 and the 2100? Like a yeah, they say numbers? yeah, they say in certain modes it's two times as fast. But I, and you're gonna say you can save uh, you can save considerable amount of time, and, and, and especially the, the, the benefit here is increased production of time. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, the color's pop, really good. The quality's dialed in. I mean, yeah. let me get a close-up shot. Perfect registration. Here's some of the detail here. Yeah. Look how bright the whites are. So, just looking at this, it took one minute and fifty-three seconds to print, and two dollars an eight. Two dollars and two cents an eight. So that's a beauty. A beauty. Epson F twenty-one hundred. That's the one. Check it out, we'll be putting more videos. We'll be doing uh, more uh, videos and maintenance videos and how-to videos and all these things like we did for the F2000, we'll be doing this for the 2100. If you're interested in it, give Merrill a call. We'll walk you through how to get one.